problem 21, 4 times x minus 5 equals 7 times x plus 2. My first step will be to get rid of the parentheses 4 times x, which is 4x, 4 times 5 is 20, 7 times x, which is 7x, 7 times 2 is 14. Now I need the x's to be on the same side of the equation, so I'm going to subtract 4x from each side. seven x minus four x is three x I'm going to subtract fourteen from each side fourteen minus twenty is negative thirty four three x to solve divide each side by three the threes cancel out you're left with negative 34 over 3 equals x. Problem 22, 5 times x minus 8 over 6 equals negative 7. First I'm going to get rid of parentheses. 5 times x is 5x. 5, 5 times 8 is 40. Now I'm just going to rewrite the problem as 5x over 6 minus 40 over 6 equals negative 7. Now I'll want to add 40 over 6 to each side. That's going to cancel out. Now I'm adding fractions, so I have to have a common denominator. That's going to be 6. This is the same as 7 over 1, so I will multiply 6 over 6. Negative 7 times 6 is negative 42. 1 times 6 is 6. And then just carry this down. It's 5x over 6. Negative 42 plus 40 is negative 2 over 6. Then we've got 5x over 6. To solve for x, I will multiply the reciprocal of 5 over 6, which is 6 over 5. Multiply that by each side. All this cancels out, leaving you with x. On this side, the 6's will cancel out, leaving you with negative 2 over 5. Problem 23, 3 over 4x plus 1 over 4x equals 19. We're going to add the coefficients of x, and it's nice because they've already given us the common denominator. 3 plus 1 is 4, and that's over 4. x equals... 19. The 4's cancel out and you're left with 1x equals 19. This 1 is a ghost number. So your answer is 19. Problem 24. 5y minus 2 times y plus 1 plus 2 equals 7y. Start off by getting rid of the innermost parentheses first and working towards the outer brackets. 2 times y is 2y. Two, 2 times 1 is 2. That's plus 2. That's what's in our bracket. 2 plus 2 is 4. So we've got 2y plus 4. Carry down the 5y minus and carry down the equals 7y. Now we're subtracting. It's the same as having a ghost number of negative 1. So negative 1 times 2y, negative 2y. Negative 1 times 4, negative 4, so subtract 4. Continue to carry the 5y down and the equals 7y down. 
5y minus 2y is 3y minus 4 equals 7y. We want our y's on the same side of the equation, so I will subtract 3y from each side. It leaves me with negative 4 equals 7y minus 3y is 4y. To solve for y, divide each side by 4. This all cancels out, and we have that negative sign, so we know that'll be a negative 1 equals y. Problem 25. Professor Baird wants to mix a solution containing 10% acid with one containing 15% acid to obtain a 20 ounce solution containing 12% acid. How many ounces of the 10% solution should the professor use? Let's start by writing down what we know. It tells us there's a mixture 1 containing 10% of an acid solution. There's a second mixture, we'll call that mixture 2, of a 15% acid solution. Now I want to get rid of this percentage sign, which to do that you just take the number over 100, so it would be 10 over 100, and 10 divided by 100 equals 0 0.10. You could also use the rule of thumb where you have a percentage sign and you move the decimal point two places to the left. So this will be 0 0.10 and the 15 will become 0.15. We want to solve the volume for the 10% solution, so we'll call that x. The problem also tells us the final solution is going to be, I'm just going to call it the total solution, 12% acid of 20 ounces, so times 20, because whenever you have a story problem and you see the word of, you automatically multiply. The equation that we'll want to solve for will be the mixture 1 plus the mixture 2 equals the total. So mixture 1 is going to be 0.10 times x. Mixture 2 is going to be 0.15 times the volume. And we don't know what the volume of the 15% acid is, but we know that it will be 20, which is the final volume, minus x, which is the volume of mixture 1. So 20 minus x equals, now we'll fill in for the total, which will be 0.12 times 20. So this is the equation that we're going to solve for. Let's start by getting rid of the parentheses here. 0.15 times 20 will equal 3 minus 0.15x. 0.12 times 20 equals 2.4, carry down the 0.10x, add together, or in this case, because we have a subtraction sign, subtract the coefficients of x, 0 0.10 minus 0.15 is negative 0.05. Plus 3 equals 2.4. Subtract 3 from each side. So by subtracting 3, this leaves you with negative 0.05x. 2.4 minus 3 is negative 0.6. To solve for x, let's divide each side by negative 0 0.05. Negative 0 0.6 divided by negative 0 0.05 is 12, and that's ounces of mixture 1, which is our 10% solution.